my k fam it's your girl k allure just coming through with a quick message before we start season two episode one i am doing a hundred sub giveaway as a big thank you to everyone that supported me so far on the booth i am giving away one t-shirt and one mug on the k kissing booth merch so you must be subscribed as a follower on my youtube and comment some kissing emojis and tell me what is your favorite episode so far on the booth if you have any or want any extra entries, you can follow me on Instagram at KLore. You can sub to my Spotify or you can follow me on TikTok. I will be picking winners on August 8th. So you guys have time to comment on any season two episode to enter in for the giveaway. I can't wait to pick a winner and I can't wait to see y'all rocking y'all K Allure K Kissing Booth merch. And we are about to get into the show. <laughs> we recorded. Oh my God. All right, let's rock. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your girl, K. Allure, back again for another episode on The Booth. And as always, we are not alone. I got a very special guest in the building. Go ahead and let her know who you is. Hello, everyone. My name is John Roney. Oh, I thought you were going to go with what we already <laughs> talked about. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Jackson. <laughs> nah, for real, for real, for real. Hi, everyone. My name is John Roney. Nice to meet y'all. Hey, hey, hey. I'm so glad you came up in here. Finally. I'm right. actually glad that you're back in Atlanta. You feel me? I'm glad to be back. It's fun. Are you sure? You're smiling like you're like, uh, <laughs> niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real, right? Nah. I mean, being back in Atlanta is cool. I feel like I feel like me leaving and going to Houston for a little bit kind of showed me like, you know. How was Houston? Houston was all right. It was okay. Let me know what's what's out there. How's wait? Let's actually tell them what you do. Who, who is John Roney? Well, okay. Hi, everyone. I'm John Roney. I am a director and DP of John Roney Films. Obviously, um, I worked on set with a lot of different talents, a lot of young talent, a lot of older talent. Um, Rick Ross, uh, you know all those. I'm the all biggest those, boss yeah. that you've seen thus far. You feel me? I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> work with a couple of names. You know, yeah, yo. I don't work with Yayo before. I don't, if you, okay. Few good names, you know, and just trying to advance myself in my portfolio. Um, but that's what I do. I also act on the side. I've been in some short films, things like that. Um, and I used to dance. A lot of people know me for like dancing yep. and like the clothes and stuff. So I do. Oh god. I do. I ain't stripping nothing. I'm letting everybody know right nah, now. Was I was stripping. not no stripper. He was a magic micer. Oh fuck I was. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was doing a little pop lock. Pop lock drop. Anyway, you know. <laughs> If you really from Atlanta, you know back in the day, like we used to really like get down and like we created that. Scene we created most of, of the dances. Yeah, I think that's so, what we really known for. No cap. Back that was like back when like Ao and Tao. I was in one of the music videos, by the way, but like back when Ao and Tao was like a thing. Like, oh, so you plugged in, plugged in. You feel me? Streets love you. Kind of up there. Oh, dang. Kind of up there. Okay, excuse me. Came a long way from Mario, my boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Look, that's where that's where I grew up. No, that's not. Well, yeah, that's where I grew up. They're my battlefields. Are they? Battlefields. Yeah. Jurassic Park. That's what that is. I tell people now, I be like, yeah, Rex. What the fuck is a Rex? Uh. I ain't gonna lie. I went back to my old neighborhood. Speaking of speaking of like Rex and Morrow and stuff like that, like real talk, we can go into it. Let's go do it. Let's do it, please. Bro, like why the hell they decide to rebuild the school when we all left? Like, remember. I don't even know where the new school is. I haven't even pulled up on it. I've I've seen so I went on the website because like everyone was everyone was saying like the new school was gonna be built and stuff like that. Yeah. I went on the website. I'm looking at like the, the photos it of look, like the new it school. It looks futuristic. I'm like, so y'all couldn't build us this shit? They didn't have the money, they didn't have the funds. I don't <laughs> them kids worse than us. They are. They had a fight on the first opening day yes. with a knife. Yes. <laughs> like Like, bro, like they got we, cops. Like I'm confused of what's happening. Like, are we are we the hood now? We're supposed to be the suburbs. I came from the hood. I'm born in the hood. But I mean, Mara, Mara was always kind of leaning down that slope because everybody wanted to be a little thug in them. It's like, bro, like we we really cool. Y'all are like, suburban kids. Stop not it. all of us. It's some bad parts tomorrow. 
Like where if you keep going down towards like Union City, it's it kind of gets Union rough. City. That's not Morrow. Morrow is suburb. If I go to Morrow and then I take that little uh oh boy, you remember <laughs> what a Walmart was? Okay, like you remember what a Walmart was? Where the it was a yes. Walmart then a cookout, yeah. and then if you keep going all the way down that street, it leads yeah. you towards Union City where like the, okay. the Sonics that's and the McDonald's. That's where I'm from, though. Don't do that. That I'm, is the hood. That is not. Yeah, if that's the hood. Pa- if you go past it that is little, the hood. exactly, the hood will show you love, but that's not Morrow. Morrow is the suburbs. I know, but it's right there. It ain't. Y'all not touching. Riverdale, y'all ain't touching none of that. So I, y'all can stop while y'all ahead. I, I don't, I don't be over there like that. I don't care. Cause you don't be going to the trenches. Why do I need to? I mean, all They're right, really let me not, not the trenches. Let me, let me They're really like not that. the trenches though. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I, I really be see. Let, let me take this shit in. <laughs> Cause, bro, like, no funny shit. I be, I be in a lot of places. It's like bad. Like, I was in Chicago like a few months Chicago ago. Chicago is lit. Chicago is amazing. Yeah. I love Chicago. Yeah. Like, I I would live in Chicago if the crown rate wasn't bad. I don't know about living in Chicago, but have you Chicago been to, is great. No, like, for real. Have you been in, like, yeah. Chicago? Yeah. And I've been, I've, I've been in Michigan. I've been in a couple of places. You know, uh, my, my folks from up north. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the reason I say I live in Chicago, that skyline is beautiful. It is. And that's like. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I no, love y'all. I love hey, y'all. no, hold on because she not about to have nobody come to get at me, bro. And I gotta I'm come up there playing. to shoot some music videos. Anyway. I am just playing. No, I love Chicago. Like Chicago, that show from, me love. That's what I know. They show me love too. Yeah. Like I really rock to the people that come from Chicago. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Tashawn. He he's a really Shout good you artist. Out, man. Shout you he's out. a really good artist out there. He's gonna blow up soon. He has a good sound. Well, he need to come up here on the booth then. I'm trying to get him back out here. He say he like it in Atlanta every time he come out here. So yeah. I'm gonna try to get him out here for sure. And- okay. So I want to know because you know I need to know about this photography. I ain't really big on it, but uh-huh. I'm, I I done seen your work, and you uh-huh. know anybody else that know about you, they done seen your work now. You be doing Shit, the damn thing. Man. I I I'ma give it to you. I ain't never yell about that. You be doing the damn thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um what made you get into photography for real? Um, I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to be a YouTuber my whole life. I'm no, it's so funny. I need the backstory. I, so look, <laughs> no funny, no funny shit. I wanted to be a YouTuber my entire life. Like, I was like, bro, I'm going to learn how to use cameras and shit. Mm-hmm. I shit you not. I was so down bad. I was. I remember exactly what I was doing. I was working at Manheim, which is like a little car company and shit like that. Uh, I, didn't, I don't know that. Yeah. We used to transport cars and stuff like that from like Marietta and stuff all the way back down oh, here. Oh, okay. Put it was a cool little job, but I was broke. And I was like living in my car low-key. Like, I was like living in my car and like chilling with really? my, like, my girlfriend at the time. Like we would just... You know, like, and we was both just like, okay, like, what what can we do to kind of start making money? And I was like, shit, uh, I might as well pull, I might as well just go ahead and get the camera. Not the couples channel. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to do a couples channel. Okay, that, okay, okay. She was, like, influencing me to, like, really pursue, like, that YouTube shit. So I was like, okay, cool, like, I might do it. I I had literally $700 in my account. I had $700 in my account, no bullshit. And I spent that entire six fifty four. On a camera That's that's some real passion right there Yeah no cap. I, Boy when I left that Target Boy I was geek Boy I could not spend no money So that little 654 is where you are now Yeah God is good I'm for real God too. is real good Like yeah. that's crazy I was living Like for real Like anybody that knows me They know that I was like living in my car Like I was really living in my car Yeah You know so I um I just kind of use that passion and but the thing is it's crazy how everything go and this is why I have to remind myself like you just have to do stuff because I bought that camera not knowing it was gonna turn into like a camera like job like I would just go and start being good with photos and stuff yeah you know I had friends that modeled and stuff at the time I had friends in the club and they would be like oh like since you have a camera like you could practice on me mm-hmm. and then from there like I just was like okay. I gotta learn how to use the motherfucker <laughs> anyway, you know. Right, but I feel like that's kind of what a lot of people out there they don't know what to do. Like a lot of people want to do photography. Yeah. Me in Atlanta, it's overly saturated with anything, any and everything. But that don't mean yeah. that that should stop you from doing it. But you see, the good thing about cameras that I learned, and this is why I think I'm so passionate about like how I do things now, because people say like YouTube is oversaturated and stuff. Yeah, and I'd be like, I mean, it is, but it's really but not. Anybody can get on there and blow up if you know what you're doing mm-hmm. and you're just consistent. So mm-hmm. it's the same with this camera shit. Yeah. Like, I picked up a camera and I was like, bro, like, I'm looking at some fah niggas too. I'm like, <laughs> D, 
I'm like, look at my photos and look at theirs, and I'm like, oh. How do we get there? I don't <laughs> know we what we gonna do, but shit. So, you know? who was the person that really inspired you the most, like starting out? Who really inspired me? Because uh, your work is unique. Like, I'm gonna I'm put some, like, when y'all see the video, I'm gonna put some of his work up on the screen so y'all can see. Cause I, his appreciate shit. That. I appreciate that. Uh, it's a few people out there, bro. Like, Sam Calder. Sam Calder is a really cold photographer, but he okay. do like travel shit. Like I used to watch, I used to look at his stuff and be like, damn, like, I really feel like I'm in Australia with this. Do shit. you really want to get into doing the traveling thing? The yourself? traveling photography? Yeah. I mean, I, I want to get into traveling photography, but I want to do it in a twist. Um, there's another artist, I can't remember his name mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's another artist who I watch. He also does that. Like he'll he travels like Hotels and stuff will pay him to come to their resorts and mm-hmm. like take photos. Like he just has to produce like a good solid amount of photos and they'll post it, repost it, like use his content. So I was like, shit, I would love to do that. That shit fire. Yeah, especially now because like I'm getting back into like modeling. I'm mm-hmm. getting back into like just showing my face more. Yeah, you know. And I'm happy about that because yeah. I'm glad that you're back. Yeah. I got a photographer now, y'all. Y'all don't even know it. <laughs> nah, but for real, though, for real, for real. <laughs> like I'm gonna do it. I need I you really, to. Like, bro, like, if y'all see me, I'm going to just plug this right now, put this into the universe. If y'all see me modeling for, like, Boohoo, Nike, any of them in the, in the next, like, six months, just know I put that shit right here. I said it right here. Right I here. I get an exclusive. Yeah. Because. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm telling you, I be having so many people in my DMs, like, oh, like, you need to really, like, get into that. And I'm one of them people. I Because I really feel like you should be doing more. I'm glad that you're back in Atlanta. I'm going to keep saying that. because. I this is really home for you and we missed you like yeah. if y'all if y'all knew john because that's what he going by now i ain't gonna give y'all what he used to be going jotty <laughs> but everybody know me as jotty y'all. everybody used to know him as jotty this jotty man i'm gonna tell you the community loves this man the community loves this man I like you're really doing your, your big one out here i really do appreciate that yeah i try to remain you know i try to remain a little faithful to the city do you, know? you? I do. I really do. I really do. <laughs> Clayton County, hey, I come out there. I come out there every few months. I need to start coming out there more for real. Cause yeah. I used to know. You remember, um, Mr. Bland? Yeah, Mr. Bland. Oh my! Shouts out to you, Mr. Bland. I hope you watch this. Cause Look, that's my favorite teacher. No funny stuff. Like Mr. Bland, I was going. I really when I moved back, I wanted to start coming up to the school before he told me like he went. Who moved, he moved to another school? Mm-hmm. I wanted to start coming up to the schools again and like just talk to the kids. I did that a few times. And it was cool. I really enjoyed it. I love yeah. talking to the kids, you know, give them a little inspiration. It's always good to get back to your community. Yeah, I feel I feel like that's where all of this kind of derived from, too. Like, when you get back mm-hmm. to your community, you get something out of it. Most definitely, you do. Yeah. And that's the thing that I kind of want to do as well, too. Like, I, I really want to, like, throw it well. I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to put this on the table since we put stuff on the table. Dang. I want to host an event to where I can give back to my community in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. I don't know if I want to get back to the kids or if I just want to throw a nice little day event for the adults and the kids to pop out. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I'll go with you. I'll do it with you because. Uh-oh. Did y'all hear that? I'll do it with you because that, that's tough. <laughs> All right, look, I'm gonna hold you to it now. All right, I'm gonna hold you to it. That's cool. So I'm gonna get to the nitty gritty. What else been going on, man? What's what else been on on that mind? Cause you you're full of creativeness. So I need to know what else been going on with you. What else you want to spill to the show? Uh, I mean, you know, just a lot of change mentally and a lot of like preparation physically. Like, yeah, I feel like the older I get, the more I kind of understand this game of life, and I start to really kind of get the gist of like what to do. Mm-hmm. So you know. I used to be very negative, very like unmotivated. I always talk down on myself type thing. Now I'm kind of just like, bro, like, I'm I'm that nigga for real, like. And that's the phase I'm trying to get to, cause I be in my own little bubble. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. I be in my bubble, and I think it's cause I'm also trying to fight adulthood with like childhood, childish, not childhood, but like childish yeah. ways, or like being stuck in my ways. Cause yeah. it's kind of hard. It's kind of good to correct it now, then get older and be like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I know what who you are mean you? By that. You know, I and mean, it, it really comes down for real. For real, it comes down to putting out a certain amount of energy that you understand. And what I mean by okay, so what I mean by this is we we don't realize how much of energy based creatures we are. Yeah, you know, and it's like when you start to progress into the to a certain consciousness of like 
I can do anything. Mm-hmm. And it's it's so real. Like people be like, oh, that's cliche. Cause cause social media make us think of like stuff like that's cliche. Like mm-hmm. if you tell yourself this every day, your reality is gonna shape that. Facts. Versus like versus sitting here and saying, oh, like I ain't never gonna do this or this ain't never gonna happen. You're telling your entire like sales body everything like mm-hmm. this not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Like, have you ever noticed if you start feeling sick and you be like, I'm sick, sick. you get sicker? sicker. Yeah. I definitely feel that. I definitely feel that even when I'm doing like other stuff and I I used to be big on it with my wants especially when I was younger I used to be like I know I'm gonna be able to uh get this on this day like mm-hmm. oh yeah promo plug so you know we got mugs we got shirts you know baby <laughs> check me out actually we're at 100 subscribers so I'm actually gonna do a giveaway so comment down let me see what would I want I want some kisses I want some kisses in the comments comment some kisses I'm gonna do a random questionnaire generator thing to get y'all to get either a mug or a t-shirt or I might throw in both we still trying to work that so go ahead comment down below with some stickers to get you some cake kiss and booth merch but yeah by the way this it took me a while to get this and I kept saying this shit gonna come it's gonna come <laughs> and it's it gonna did, come though. and you know you know I was stressing about that I know you was and he was like, but you know, what's gonna you need to figure out what your backup plan is just in case, bro. Cause I don't know, you kinda cut it a little close. And I'm like, this shit is going to come. Yeah. <laughs> and that shit really? did come, baby. That was good. On the game. So yeah, I believe in that. I believe in that now. You feel me? <laughs> you getting up. We're gonna get you right. <laughs> baby steps. We're gonna get you right for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <Your> mug, baby. <laughs> bro, where my water at? My little Look. Oh damn! We should have got you a mug for the road, man. You know, I'm drinking. I'm drinking. <laughs> Purified. Purified. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't mm, pay us mm. no mind. Don't pay us no mind. I've so, known this girl for too long. Yeah. How, how many years? Oh, shit. I know you since you came to high school. Since I came to high school, was it? Did we even have any like? We was on school? the same bus, like all oh, high school, bro. <laughs> like. Yeah. Until you left, you know your ass old. <laughs> hey, cause like, hey, I'm 26, ladies. I'm 26. I'm 24. Don't. Exactly. That's, that's two years you had, without you. You had two years to figure it out by alone. I wasn't on that bus to save none of y'all no more. Do you understand when you left, my whole world came crashing down? <laughs> I apologize. I fell out with people. Damn, in that reality, damn. that's really what happened for real. <laughs> Not for real, but damn. I was getting to that goddamn money though. Baby, don't check was coming in, boy. I wasn't playing. Well, I, I went for working at Sonic's to McDonald's. Them checks was not coming in, but I'm a little bougie. <laughs> I'm a little bougie, you know. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. I, feel I ain't gonna tell y'all where I went from, but if y'all know me on the streets, y'all know me. Screw up. No, I'm playing. <laughs> y'all did not hear that from me. Y'all did not hear that from me. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that girl, she got thicker. I was like, oh, I know where you been. No, I need playing. everybody to stop saying I done got thicker. That's not a bad thing. I don't think I got thicker. You got into your grown woman body, as you say. I think I'm getting there. I yeah. Think she still, I think she still got some room, but I got to hit the gym so she can really pop out for real. Like pop in the gym. Bro, for real, get into your highest consciousness now. Like, you never going to get these years Do I need back. to get high first? No. You don't. Dada, you I really feel like don't. I need to get high. If you feel like <laughs> no, you need no, no, to go no, and no, blow that off, hey, <laughs> it's a... It's I do not do drugs, kid. Uh, shit. <laughs> right, I don't do uh, drugs. Yeah, I don't, know I don't, I don't do drugs, kids, and don't do drugs, kids. But no, uh, I want to really like elevate into the goddess that I'm supposed to be. I mean, it just comes with consciousness and your awareness of, of everything. Like, yeah. it really does, because you have to just be aware of like your entire surrounding. Yeah. Like, what's next? Like, how do I start doing this? I started by. Really watching my thoughts first, mm-hmm. like because you know your thoughts are just sporadic. They come at every. Oh well, which you know away. my, you know mine's just sporadic. But the thing is, you as the observer of your mind and your like soul and stuff like that, you have to be able to separate your thoughts. Yeah. So like me, when I'm feeling real negative, I'm feeling down and stuff like that. I really have to like, okay, this ain't a good thought. Let me just push that to the side. Mm-hmm. Cause a lot of people don't understand your thoughts are just like dwells. Like they just, it just happens. Mm-hmm. They're sporadic. They're the creation of the idea of what you think. Mm-hmm. So it's like when you sit here and you're just like, oh my God, like boom, a thought comes to your head and you're just like, okay, priority. You can't do stuff like that. Right. Like you have to be able to, t- cause I know a lot of people like say you're in a relationship and your partner is like, 
they might look really good. Like there might be a thought that's like, damn, like they ain't gonna cheat on me. No. Like no, like you gotta push that stupid shit out. It's I, not even realistic. When I'm in a relationship, okay, so we hopping on that. When I'm in relationships, because you know, as soon as you go to relationships, I start Jeez. jumping, <laughs> start jumping. Um, I really don't be giving a fuck. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like I really don't. You kind of can't. I, I really can't. You can't. Cause I just want the things to go. As normal, yeah. But I'm gonna need you to meet me halfway. Yeah. I'm a weirdo with that. Like, meet I mean, me halfway. I, I don't ask for much. I think me, when it comes down to relationships now, all I really want is somebody that like understands me and I'm peaceful with. Like, if I can be at peace with a person yeah. and like we just like have a complete understanding, it's like okay, cool. Yeah. Cause like arguments and stuff, they gonna come. Like it, it's it's inevitable. I don't like, like, y'all like gonna arguing disagree. though. It's not about and that's arguing. what I gotta. That's what I gotta mature about. Like if if it's a disagreement, yeah, I promise you for a fact I'm not saying shit. But you see, you can't do that because right. what happens is now the communication is gonna be flawed. Because you're gonna you're gonna sit here and do not say nothing. And the person on the other end, they're just gonna agree with what they're saying. And what it comes down to is y'all both having to come onto common ground. Like especially me because I like strong. I have I like very strong personalities. Cause you got a strong ass personality. You feel me? So it's like me having my strong personality, and I know I like strong personalities. It's like you have to meet in a common ground, and then from there, if y'all both can respect each other on the tip of like, okay, like I don't want to hurt this person, so I'm gonna adjust these things, and they don't want to hurt me, so let me do this and back off. But what if they a Scorpio like me and they want to ma- manipulate this situation? <laughs> <laughs> by default I realized uh, I've realized By default I can kind of Manipulate the situation Most Scorpios do And I don't like that That's a trait That I really don't like Cause I don't know That I'm doing it So See, imagine if I do it What you <laughs> <laughs> No No funny stuff though No like, for real like, What you have to do You kind of <laughs> just have to like you have to cut that side off And it sounds It sounds easy But I know it's difficult It's a very difficult Cause I don't, process like, like I'm telling you I don't know that I'm doing it I have people on the outside be like, yeah, you seem like you're trying to manipulate. I'm like, no. You just got to be aware. Yeah. You got to be very aware. Like, very aware. But see, I think, I don't know about my viewers if they got the only child syndrome, because that's what I call it, the only child syndrome. I'm used to the world being around me and things jumping when I needed to jump. Yeah. So. That's an immature trait, though. Like, that's something you, you grow out of. And. Uh, lately when it comes to dating I've been trying to date people That teach me patience Teach me like Everything is not All the way about me But it, it is about me At the same time But yeah. kind of like Calm that energy down Type shit No, nah, I feel that Yeah I definitely feel you don't, Maybe when I have kids I might grow out of it Cause You probably I'm, will for real Cause it's a lot of things yeah. I used to do before Like my daughter was born That um, I don't do now Shout out to the girl that You know Girl dads <laughs> Hey if you a girl dad Comment below Like Yeah com- Comment below like A hundred You know the little hundred Symbol yeah. little hundred yeah. Cause we love y'all We love y'all bro Especially my single ass <laughs> <laughs> No just Hey saying. look No no funny <laughs> stuff Because P- Look I'm not gonna say It's hard to be a dad But it's definitely Stressful when it comes down To like Understanding things financially And just trying to like Elevate yourself mm-hmm. Cause I know sometimes I really begin into this mindset Like bro like, I gotta get this shit Like right now now. Yeah. Like, yeah. My daughter going to an art school. Like, Cause she, she need it right now. I seen your daughter a couple days ago on your story. She was yeah. with the camera. I was like, oh, she following in daddy's footsteps well, already, said, boy. Hey, no funny shit. Look, <laughs> this the first time I've ever let her grab my camera because she know like, don't touch don't daddy touch equipment. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, she was like, daddy, let me see the camera. I was like, I was like, oh, that DNA kicking <laughs> in. <laughs> hey, look, I, I swear to God. And then, for real, like she's such a natural. Like she was holding mm-hmm. the camera and stuff like that. She was just holding. She it. was she holding was like, it. Like she had it. Yeah, like she was doing a little video. When I look back at the video, I was like, "This whole kind of tough." Yeah, yeah. That my little baby. Yeah, following her daddy's footsteps for real. I don't want her to be getting cameras like that though. Why? I don't. I if she does it, I it's want her to do it for herself. Heart. If she does it, I want her to do it for herself. Okay. okay well, okay. I'm not even gonna say I don't want her to do it, but I want her to understand that there's a bigger business behind it. Because me, like, I got mm-hmm. in the cameras, and I was like, damn, like, I got to learn how to be an editor. I got to learn how to do this. I have yeah. to learn how to be a director. I got to learn how to be a DP, a light tech. Yeah. I had to learn all of this stuff at once, and I mm-hmm. feel like knowing her and how she is the person and having my genes in her, she definitely going to be trying to do everything when it's it's so much of a of a extra step. Because mm-hmm. me, like, I know now after doing everything, I'm a director and a DP at heart. 
like I enjoy being a director and a DP. Like if I can just control the outlook and how things operate, I would love to do that. Working with you, I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. And I actually like it because you make well, it probably everybody comfortable. I'm just speaking off of my experience. Yeah. Your vision, what you see, how you want things to go, you're really good at planning and mapping things out. And I, I like that. I actually respect that a lot. I appreciate that. Because for somebody, I kind of want to get into that side of modeling for myself right now, not mm. for no company, but just modeling for myself. And I feel like you and your vision, you make me feel comfortable. Like, you make me feel like I've been doing this for years and I was just nervous to say, <laughs> You, you know? just gotta You have to really bring people in On like your ideas Yeah And I feel like a lot of creators Now like that Yeah You know I think so too Do you think everybody's just doing it For Instagram Or do you think that They actually have a passion into this Like or can you really tell the difference I ain't gonna lie Yeah People doing this shit for Instagram Yeah And it's like Don't get me wrong Like yeah Get your portfolio up But I don't think people understand how dumbed down we're fucking this shit up. Cause like, <laughs> no, no funny shit. Cause like, bro, like you gotta think like me, I charge, I might charge niggas oh, seven hundred for yeah, for you, a photo shoot. You hefty. And they be like, damn, like you charging seven hundred for a shoot. And it's like, okay, think about what comes with this. For one, I'm I'm very experienced in my field, mm -hmm. very good at what I do, mm -hmm. very passionate about what I do. You paying for that, and not even just that. The quality of work that I produce is so more, so much more advanced. But then you have people that just pick up a camera now and they be like, oh, I'm doing a music video for 200. It's like, nigga, you fucking the game up for everybody. Yeah, that is true. Like, think about it. It's like if Walmart, if Walmart is Walmart right now and then Target was like, hey, we going to charge like 50% less than what y'all charging. It fucks up everybody else around it. It does. But then I also look at it like this. Um, it creates the quality, the quantity over quality. Not people in, not rather, in cameras though. But people rather have the quantity as far as okay, I have a lot of clients, yeah. I have a lot of this versus quality. So you might go to somebody with low prices, but their quality is trash. It's so, trash. But they have such a high portfolio, and they're recommended by everybody just because of that price. But the thing is, it comes down to like I don't think people understand business, and the, and the reason I say this, I've worked mm -hmm. with so many artists that don't even understand marketing and business yet. Yeah, and it's like when you really look at the spectrum of what you get, you're either gonna get really good quality, and it's gonna be like on. T it's gonna be okay. How is it? It's you're gonna either either have good quality, and then it's gonna be like not good. Mm hmm. Does that make sense? Mm hmm And then, or you're either going to have, like, really good quality, and it's going to take time. I'd rather the take time. You feel me? I think with me learning how to do editing for myself, which is kind of stressful for yeah. me, because I got a lot going on. Even I don't think I don't people have understand how much on. work goes into this shit either. At all. Because, <laughs> like, especially me, like, I come to set... If I don't have my Like now I have a crew Like I have a little crew Of people that I bring to sets now So like it's You're great. also paying for that In a lot of these packages Like when people Booking for music videos They be like Why am I paying a thousand It's like I'm bringing a crew on set Yep I'm bringing lights on set mm -hmm. I'm bringing all this equipment mm -hmm. And on top of that I've already pre-prepared plans For exactly how mm -hmm. We're gonna shoot this Like I was planning this music video a week before we shot it. Treatment is there. The treatment is already already out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, these niggas ain't even doing treatments now. Like, no, they're not. Um, I just feel like, yeah, they just pick up the camera and go. Which, it, it works for certain things. It I works, but say it that, But at it. the same time, it don't. I hate it. Yeah, you got to have some type of... And if you will, if you, I'm gonna say this right now, <laughs> since we doing it, since we are right here right now, bro, <laughs> if you are a videographer and photographer and you're charging less than five hundred dollars, really reconsider. And it sound uh, no, hold on, because I know I know what you're gonna say as the as the buyer as a customer, you're gonna be like, that's expensive as hell. What the fuck are we doing? No, 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 that's not what I was gonna say. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, um, with these people that are out here that are inspiring, I think this is what needs to be said. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So look, if you are a creative, if you're a creative period, photographer, videographer, whatever it is, if you're charging less than $500, you need to really reconsider. And the reason I say that is because of the type of clients. And I'm saying this from experience. When I started, I pulled in people by doing $50 shoots, $80 shoots, yep. $150 shoots. That's cool and dandy. But when you start to up your prices to now you're charging $500, 1000 mm -hmm. those same clients are not going to be there. You're going to lose so many, like... People that don't respect your work, mm -hmm. but but see that you're good at what you do, and they're just using you with that low price. Mm -hmm. Like 
I'm saying I'm saying this from so much seriousness and experience. Like mm -hmm. people have used me for my talents and seeing how good I am, but because mm -hmm. I was charging a low price, they didn't respect me on a level I wanted to be respected. Facts. And now that I'm charging a thousand for music videos, the clients that I get are way better. Yeah. By a thousand. You got that high class. You got them high class clients. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, hey, look, I had a motherfucker pull up in a Rolls Royce. I was like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> He's like, you can drive it if you want. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> Ain't yeah. God good yeah. Amen yeah. Amen But I feel like you got In order to gain You gotta lose Yeah And that's, true. that's like In life with anything in That's order, true. You gotta lose Whether it's friends um, Just any type of thing That you got going on That you know Or that you feel Like Cause you you can feel it In your heart What's holding you back Yeah From elevating For sure Switch <laughs> <y 'all>. Nope <laughs> We got time That's gonna stay in we that got cup nothing but time <laughs> Listen I'm celibate By default I applaud you. I can't do that shit. I don't know how the fuck I'm still doing this I shit. I don't know how you do it. I think I'm at that point where, like... Um, well, I've been chilling lately. I'll say that. Like, I've, I've lately been chilling. Celibacy is a good thing, y'all. It's like, an amazing thing. It's a blessing. Yeah. It's a really good thing, seriously. It's a struggle. <laughs> it's a it can be. It's a struggle. Now, I'm going to say this. If you're celibate just to be like... If you're celibate and not doing it... If you're doing anything and not for a reason, then really kind of understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. Because Facts. I know some people get into celibacy and they're just like, oh, like, I'm, I'm going to, like, stress myself out by not having sex. Like, And it's like, okay, well, I can understand... If you want to like control your energy, you want to give back to yourself. That's cool, but like if you're just like, but out for here. women, I think celibacy is harder because yeah, y'all are horny and we ovulate. Yeah, and I think that's the part where I really be want to fuck shit up when I'm ovulating, and not in like have sex way. Man, if you don't know what ovulating so, is, go go read a go book. Go Google, Google. Really it. read a book, bro, because you need to work on yourself. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to be fucking at all, cause boy, you about to have eight kids fucking around on her damn ovulation. Uh huh. Cause that ovulation is a trap. And also too, if you real player, you gonna know when a woman is ovulating before she can take off her clothes. Oh God. Yeah, cause you gonna your senses is gonna tingle. Okay, let me not give. If you know what you don't. Hey, look, I ain't even gonna give. I look, I'm gonna do a male workshop for all the men so that y'all yeah, can understand the female body and stuff like that. And but that's gonna come later. Y'all need some condoms. Y'all need a lot of stuff. Y'all need a lot of stuff. Y'all need Stop lot. getting them damn magnums because, boy, you ain't Y'all know y'all ain't packing. Don't let these females hype y'all up. Please don't. And females don't, sorry, don't let mama, these niggas hype y'all up. I'm just really going in there, but I love you, mama. You look, know, we grown. We grown. Listen. <laughs> Sometimes it has to be said. We ain't saying nothing that's wrong. We saying everything that needs to be heard. <laughs> sure is. Because these these motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. But shout out to all my celibate people out there. Shout out to y'all for being strong. It's a struggle. Sh shout out to y'all for being strong. But me. <laughs> Look, I'm scratching my head. <laughs> <laughs> but me, I'm chilling right now. I'm, I really okay. am because I've been giving back to myself. But What does that mean? Like my For energy. people that don't know what that means. So like. I'm giving I'm giving back to my energy. Like I feel like I I've been like I went into a relationship then went right into another one type shit. And mind you, I know that that's not right now, but at the time with the way I grew up and everything, I felt like a shit relationship happens. was yeah, you know. I felt like a relationship was like necessary. I was I need to have me a little girlfriend, but right now it's like I mean, bro, like I'm chilling. I don't know. I had I want to get thing. married. Me too. I ain't gonna lie. I, I had wanna... a little thing in Houston, but she she acting up, so she can she can remain in Houston right now. She gonna see this and be mad at me, but like, I didn't sign up for this. I wasn't in this conversation, paper. Listen, I'm telling y'all my personal them, information. Them, them, them Houston about. girls, y'all different. So I ain't yes, it. they boy. I'm so <laughs> glad that somebody else said that. Cause God, bro, like no funny shit. Houston girls compared to Atlanta girls are way different. Way different I think they're bougier They're you bougier thought, But they're not like They're not on a higher But see they think I don't want to say this To sound females. bad Go ahead So don't say it Go Yeah <laughs> Cause I know I'm gonna hurt somebody Feelings real quick Atlanta females We're bougie Some Atl of them Depending on what side of town You go to Yeah Go to Houston it's like this. It's for the strong. That's the best way we're going to say. Houston is for the strong. Those it's like, women are some strong ass yeah, women. Yeah. They're not New York women, but they are like some real down south women. It's not even just that. It's the it's just the the standard of like how things are operating. Like you know, people here like we get into relationships to like build something. 
Like, do we? I know that the people. <laughs> I'm, okay, so the people that I'm used to, the people that I hang with, the people I know from Atlanta, for real, like. Well, see, you got a different crowd. That's true. I have a <laughs> ghetto crowd. My people are not ghetto. Your They're people just not young. Ghetto. I ha- yeah. I have a young. I have a young old. I have a lot of crowds, but as far as like on this content shit, mm-hmm. I'm definitely in the young crowd. I mean. I see a lot of clout couples that, more than I see like, are we gonna build? Nah, Shadi, I'm trying to bust them cheeks, and I'm gonna call you my boo. But that's right that now. young shit. Yeah, I don't have time for that. That's that young shit. <laughs> see me, I really had to kind of separate myself from from like young crowds like that. Like me, I don't even go to like clubs and shit no more. I go to lounges. Like I be really trying to advance myself, cause <laughs> don't get me wrong, <laughs> you funny. <laughs> don't get me wrong, like. Clubs are cool, but like it's just not for me no more. Like even the younger crowds, like people want to go, like people be like, "Oh, let's go to Miami." Like nigga, we go to Denver and smoke in the mountains. Like that sounds way better than going to Miami and like. Shout out to Colorado. So. Shout out because it's Cause that's beautiful where I graduated out there. from. <laughs> it's beautiful out there for real. Shout out to the school that I gotta go clock back into. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. But not for real. Like I've never been in the club. I don't like clubs. I've always knew from a young experience that I would never like a club. I think from working event security, I'm not really a fan of clubs because it's too many people in one small space, and it's like there's no room for like any type of anything to happen. Now, like if you, if you fall out in the club, it's up. if you want to invite me to your club for a promotion, you know, baby, I'll, that's I'll pull up. If we making money, yeah, if we I'll if we talking up. money, but if <laughs> if we not talking no money, if I ain't making no money, like just put I, me on a lounge flyer, yeah. I'll pop out there. A lounge is cool. Yeah. I, shit, we can smoke in this bitch. Hey. And then I can wear a good outfit because ain't nobody gonna spill that shit on me. You feel me? I got my and that's own another area. thing, bro. It be so many immature people in the clubs, bro. Like you spill your shit on I my shoes, like bro. They it's can't up. hold a liquor. That's the problem. Cause you got to think about it. A lounge, you're not getting two dollar drinks at the club. You're getting two dollar drinks. That's facts. <laughs> them bitches, them bitches be strong, boy. And they sure do be. Man, I need. I to might have to, to hit the club. a club. <laughs> I might have to hit me a club. Hey, what you doing after this? Shit. Nah, we ain't going to no club. I ain't. I can't even get in the door, my nigga. You ain't got to in your damn shorts. (laughs) I'm sorry, bro. I had to do it. Damn, they can't see that, man. Listen, when she walked up in here and there was no drawstring in there, I was like. (laughs) With the tucked in shirt. With the tucked in. I was like, I ain't even want to hide it, bro. Nah, if you know me, I'm always losing drawstrings. I just lost one out of my Adidas tracksuit, and I'm pissed. Ooh, that's bad. I'll be so hurt. And it's, them, they need that drawstring. <sighs> they get a little loose up top. It really don't, because I'm Mine do. thick now. <laughs> I mean, Go I, do just, something else. I just feel like a lot of people have pressures. People-pleasing syndrome. I used to have that syndrome. I did, too. Now, I don't care. <laughs> well, there's no reason <laughs> like, to. Like, people, the people are like, oh. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't care. At the end of the day And it's by default It's not because I don't Genuinely have a heart Or mm-hmm. it's not I just know Things that are people Are stressing over about mm-hmm. I've already Surpassed that level To where I don't Stress about that no more So I'm not gonna sit here And stress with that for you Yeah I feel that it's Not. <laughs> I feel that For sure <laughs> Cause you can't do it Like you can't You can't stress Other people bullshit Like I have enough stress Yeah Real shit Bro I'm telling y'all 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 kids that might watch this And be like Oh I want to be an adult so bad Like when you become an adult You need to really understand something It's bills Now that's ghetto it's, Adult it's Being ghetto. an adult is ghetto as shit But shit Hey I can buy whatever the fuck I want I told myself by the end of By the time we go fully electric With cars and shit Like I'm gonna have a McLaren I don't want electric cars Can I get my gas man No Gas cars are not good for the environment I don't all. give a fuck about that Yes I do <laughs> You say that, all right, this, this podcast is going to be floating off in space somewhere with no oxygen. <laughs> shit, at least hey. it's going to be somewhere, man. I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. The government could have done this shit a long time ago to make it to where it's healthier for the environment. But they so st- We don't care. We want money. Yeah, and that's the thing. So many people are focused on money. It's like, nigga, I'm a money government is not worker. Everything. You're talking to the wrong person. You forget. <laughs> I was in the government, too. I understand, but. I am a government worker. Listen. Let's get this bread and go. Listen, we gon' there ain't gonna be no bread. To g- <laughs> How much money would it take for you to feel comfortable? To feel comfortable? How much money? Like right now? Yeah. Like no, in general, like if you could make a consistent amount and you had, can that, I just say right now? Yeah. 
Because I don't know what's going to make me comfortable once I reach another level. Right now. So if I say right now, 100K. 100K a year? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I think that would make me feel really That's comfortable. That's cool. How Cause much? I have my investments going. A hundred k a year. You making about six k a month? You making about yeah, like it's five. Hold 6K on, a we month? need a calculator. No, uh, for real, I think it is like six k a month. I went to school. Almost got two degrees. No, no shit. <laughs> Try to downplay the middle class, bro. If you're making that's not middle class, is it? A hundred k is considered middle class Damn, now in today's I'm society. Poor. <laughs> <laughs> Temporarily. Temporarily poor. Temporarily. See, we working on it. We working on it. We gonna get you right. Woo. Listen. I need some more money. A hundred k not bad though. A hundred k will do me good. I just need actually. It. I just want somebody to put it in my hands, like right now, nah, and then I'll, I'll work for that it. bitch. No, I, I, I. you want? You just want it? All the sugar daddies, get case kissing boo. I don't. Shout out to Georgia Gannett <laughs> College for letting me stay there for half a semester. You know that's lit. Shout out to the schools that I graduated from. Shout out to Morrow, you know, LA, you know. Shout out to Morrow. Shout out to Rex. Shout out to Boston, man. Don't shout out to Rex though. Not right now. I'm kidding, y'all. I love you. The fuck you talking about? I'm man? kidding. <laughs> I'm from Riverdale, but that really offended my ass. I know. I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to see if it'll get to you a little shout bit. Shout out to you know Rex. Riverdale. Shout out. Shout out to the entire Clayton County because you know Clayton County is really where where stomping. Where we doing were. it at, man? We gonna bring we gonna bring some lovely things to the y'all for sure. Yeah. I'm slide. <laughs> <laughs> If you slide for me, I slide for you. So it's like Clayton County. I'm going to come out there. I'm going to try to do something big for y'all. I definitely want to give back to the community. So we're going to give back to the community. Hell yeah, yeah. And then from there, you know, if y'all down for it, join Runningville. Come on, join it. Join it with me. Don't let me be, even though I'm not going to be by myself. But come on, y'all. We're going to have merch Hop soon. Hop on the team. And I, we're going to have some good merch soon. Yeah. And I'm going to be modeling it because I'm working on my modeling skills as we speak. We getting her right. She yeah. did a photo shoot yesterday, y'all. I did. And that shit was lit as hell. It was lit. Oh, yeah. I forgot to talk about that. We talked about everything underneath the sun. Man. Oh, no. I think we brushed on it a little we bit, did. though. Yeah. Cam Curry Studios. Shout out to y'all. Cam Curry Please. Studios. I'm going to put this out here right now. Cam Kirk Studios made me the person I am right now. Big facts. Big facts. I know everybody up in there. I love the facility. I love yeah. that place. If y'all have never been to Cam Kirk Studios in Atlanta, Georgia, you need to go to Cam Kirk Studios. On the game. They built me up to be the person I am. I'm very good with lightings because of Cam Kirk Studios. B Media, thank you for helping me with lighting mm -hmm. setups and things like that. All my boys up there, the girls up there, whole staff lit. Cam lit. He talked to everybody. Mm -hmm. Go up there. It's very dope. On the game. Don't be I scared like to pay that. that $80 either. Please don't. $80 ain't shit, man. It ain't. Come on now. I pay 500 just to fucking live now. Like 500 a day just to live at this point in life. I need to get to your status. I, I think I need to rethink life. I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> I mean, you know. Nah, because I do be spending. Bro. Join Ronanville. Yo, yo, we going to figure I it out. I thought I was already in the motherfucker. Damn. We gotta, you got to get initiated. We're going to jump you in. <laughs> you know I'm down for some gang shit. <laughs> hey, Cue <bro>. my music. <laughs> right. Look, y'all have a blessed one. Love y'all. Yes. Oh, wait, I gotta close. It's your girl, K. Allure. And you already know you can follow me on all streaming networks. K. Allure. We made it real easy for you. And go ahead and let them know who you is and where we can find you at. Hey, y'all. Look, listen. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, everything. Not TikTok, though. TikTok is different. But. We can put everything there. Oh, John Ronan, okay. the John Ronan. If everybody wants to know, I am the John Ronan. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the John Ronan. That's T H E J O H N R O N I N. Oh, I like that. You feel me? Now you know how to do my outro with me. I whisper onto the mic mm -hmm. and I say, "We are out." You gonna do it with me? All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, three, two, two one. We are out. Stay over that. Yeah. Be who you wanna be. We don't stutter till I D I E.